All right, guys. Uh, patch notes dropped yesterday, but I was streaming all day, so I didn't get a chance to cover it. Finished Halo ODST Lasso, by the way. So, patch 0.4.3, the ADC item rework patch is coming out Tuesday, uh, which is the, the 7th, apparently. Time has finally come. We have the first larger scale item rework hitting your games of this coming Tuesday. This patch seeks to shake up the meta with big shifts to stat lines and effects from ADC itemization. Alongside that, we've changed some, uh, a smaller bunch of Assassin and Fighter items to better fit with the build paths and opportunities ADC players can seek out. We're introducing three potential core paths for ADC players to explore, Critical Strike, On Hit, and Pen. Many items have been adjusted so that the current ADC roster can feel a bit more unique based on the way we, they modify mo mo based on the way they modify their hero through these item changes. Gone are the days of only Crit Strike itemization, thankfully. Uh, old, the current ADC item situation is pretty abysmal. Assassins and fighters also have some new shifts to their own items, allowing more potential build diversity and opening up options for more heroes such as Crunch or Kalari. We're also looking to fix up some major balance concerns with Raymond and Megacosm. Lastly, with items is the new support crest op option called Reclamation, allowing supports to help cleanse their allies of negative effects. Another significant change in this patch is we're pre- is pre-cleansing, getting a small nerf. This means that players who look to cleanse knockups and other debuffs before they hit need to tighten their timing to achieve the same result. We still want pre-cleansing to exist as a skill, but it needs to carry sufficient risk for how potent the result can be. Finally, we're touching up on ranged base attacks to further help improve the feel and weight of for ADCs and mages. That's all for this balance patch. We hope you find great enjoyment in exploring all the possible combinations of new items in Slarge Overhaul. See you the next time in 0 0.5, when the hunt begins. Blood Morius, Senior Game Designer. Shut up, Blood. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to... I have looked at the patch notes, admittedly. But uh, I have not... I, I don't remember exactly everything. But the changes, I think, for the most part, are good. Heroes. As, our, as mentioned already, we want to we want pre-cleansing to remain as a skill to master and help counter displacement-based CC. Currently, however, it is a bit too reliable and easy to access, so we're bumping down the CC immunity from all cleanses. We're also increasing projectile speed for range basic attacks to help improve the feel, but are decreasing the radius alongside it preventing buffing the hit percentages. So CC immunity is now decreased uh, from all sources from 0 0.5 to 0 0.25. Which is actually pretty significant. Your reaction time has to be pretty on point now. If you want to pre-cleanse knockups or any other form of displacement. Ranged basic attack projectile speed increased from 18,000 to 23,500. Uh, 23, Ranged basic attack projectile radius decreased from 35 to 32. Uh, I mean, sure, ultimately it just makes auto attacks feel better in the long run. Cool. Drongo. So, Drongo is an interesting one. Uh, Wastelander, his passive, no longer gives the increased ability damage based on crit chance. But, they are basically shifting that damage to flat, both flat damage and scaling across every other ability. So, his Gas Grenade, or Q, now deals 40, going up to 120 at max level, plus 30% bonus physical power as physical damage on impact, which before it did not deal any damage, it used to just be a silence, and now applies the wasteland dot to all targets within every 0.5 seconds. So it is reapplying the dot, I'm now realizing the longer you're in it. Uh, old Rusty, the right, right must button, the boomerang, base damage increased from 45 to 125 at, one, at max level, to now 50 to 130 at max level, so 5 bonus damage uh, at each level it looks like. And scaling increased 10% from 40 to 50. Cooldown now starts higher by one second at level one, but at max level is down a second to seven. I like this change. I like this entire change, to be honest. Round rounds. Initial shot damage increased from 30 going to 110 at max level to now 40 going to 120 at max level. Shrapnel Cannon, his R. Base damage increased from 170 to... 375 at max level to now 175 to 425 at max level and the scaling has gone up has increased 20 from 60 to 80 so drongo has received kit like 
just base numbers and scaling wise significant buff, but you're also losing the crit strike passive. It'll be interesting to see how this goes with the new builds. It's nice that he's not forced into building crit anymore. So we'll see how that ends up going. Gadgets felt a little too durable and safe. Uh, I would agree that shield's really annoying. Base health decreased from 600 to 580. I think this is a drastic, like this is this was a much needed change, I feel like. Her ability to just kind of survive some early ganks that no other mage would is really kind of annoying. Shield max mana scaling decreased from 12% to 10%. Base damage decreased from 80 to 50. Yeah, I mean, that shield's annoying as shit. Uh, if you're building, if they're building Azure Core, which they should be, so I, I, I'm all for the, the the change on Shock Absorb, Shock Absorber. Gideon, uh, just they 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 want him to stop being tanky. Stop building him tanky. You're pissing off the devs, apparently. Black Hole, his R or his ultimate base damage decreased from 540 going to 180 at max levels to now 450 going to 900 at max levels, but the scaling has increased from 240 to 261. Muriel, just a, a bug fix that made her stronger than she was supposed to be, right? At some levels? Yeah. All in all, it's a, uh, it's a 20, 20 power drop on the shield. Base shield decreased from 110 going to 350 at max levels to now 110 going to 330. Cool. I mean, it's a slight nerf to, in my opinion, the best character in the game currently. Revenant, his right mouse button. Reload can now be initiated if right, mou right, right mouse button is used immediately after the fourth shot instead of there being a shot lockout. I don't... To be honest, I don't play this character enough to know what this means. Full disclosure, don't play Revenant enough to know exactly what this means. Uh, yeah, shouldn't be a, me a mess. Mana regen growth decreased from 0 0.25 to 0 0.18. Circle rhythm, double bug fixed. Fix an issue where circle rhythm, circle rhythm was applying damage over 6 ticks instead of 4, causing her ultimate to stack faster. Also, just to deal more damage. Fix an issue where circle rhythm was going on cooldown at the start of the cast instead of the end. The bug fixes, I mean, needed to happen. My concern is that if we fix this... Is this now over nerfing her? Maybe not. I'll be uh, I'm, I'll be curious to see where she be lands come Tuesday. Sparrow gets a pretty significant change here. Piercing shot base damage increased from ninety going to two thirty, to now ninety going to two seventy. Significant enough, uh, significant buff. I mean, like the level two, it's a ten power buff. Pretty good, and the scaling goes up thirty percent from one hundred to one thirty. Piercing shot passive multiplier decreased from 10% per stack to 5% per stack. This will be interesting. It should help with her poke in lane, which I feel like Sparrow used to feel good, but then Revenant came out, and then now Revenant kind of just feels like a monster, right? And Murdoch with his fucking range shouts that I can't stand. Inner fire, her R ultimate. Inner fire movements be buffed, decreased from set from five going up to ten to now just flat three at all levels. I this fucking change. I hate this change. <laughs> but it is what it is. Alright. That's all the heroes. Let's move on to items. Crest, Brutal Axe. Physical power increased from 20 to 25. Life still decreased from 8 to 5%. Purifying rage active attack speed decreased from 30 to 20%. This, this, this is why ADCs need to stop touching our items. <laughs> But uh, I'm kind of a sag about the lifesteal. Eviscerator. Added 5% lifesteal. Crit chance removed. Rending strikes initial scaling increased from 15 to 18%. Rending strikes additional scaling per shot decreased from 5 to 3%. The 5% lifesteal is really nice. I actually think this makes this item significantly better. Ice Scorn and Talons. Glacial Coliseum active now grants 15% increased physical power instead of 15% increased damage. Yeah, so mages don't get the benefit from it. That should be how it... This should have been how it was. Liberator. Physical power increased from 10 to 15. Life still increased from 5 to 8%. Crit chains now removed. Uh, pretty good. I mean... 
I've I've become a liberator stan, so I I'm also a sucker for life steal. So this one, Ordis is getting reworked, and this is an interesting one. I feel like I was the only person in the world who used Ordis ever. <laughs> Limit Breaker active rework too. Active Limit Breaker. Upon activation, gain 20% movement speed and 10% increased physical power for 6 seconds. Takedowns within this duration permanently grant 3 power and refresh the duration. So it's a stacking item, is my understanding, because it's granting 3 physical power permanently. I assume that doesn't mean permanently to its passive. I assume I just always have the 3 physical power. But there is a chance that I only have that I have the ten per like if I get three kills that'd be nine permanent physical power. It is possible that this is saying that when you use it, you get the ten percent increased physical power plus nine physical power. So that would be really shit. <laughs> so it'll be interesting if it is how I'm initially understanding it. Pacifier physical power increased from fifteen to twenty. Crit chance removed. I feel like that's not worth it. But okay. Physical ar uh this is reclamation. Uh physical armor decreased from twenty to twelve, added ten ability haste, and the new passive cleanse all cleanse and heals yourself and nearby allies for 150 health over three seconds. Cool. Salentium loses eight magical armor, gains ten ability haste. Uh I like that these are getting ability haste on them, by the way. I think that's a good idea. All right, off of the crest onto actual items. Uh, Spell Slasher now has 10 ability haste, but the scaling has gone down 5% from 40 to 35. This is a fantastic change. This makes this item much more, much easier to build, I feel like. Claymore. This is going into different items anymore. It's a, it has nothing to do with bone saw anymore. Uh, 25 physical power, 15% critical strike chance. Builds from short sword two short swords and a crossbow sure it's not a bad item i guess heroic guard added 15 percent tenacity and removed the passive uh also down 100 gold from 1400 to 1300 iron wood war bow zap passive reworked every fourth successful basic attack deals 20 damage plus 30 percent bonus physical power bonus physical damage so this no longer does bonus magical damage but the tier threes still will. So um, I'm trying to think of the name of the item. Stormbreaker does still does still deal magical damage. They just want you to get less value out of Warbo by spreading out your damage types. Ravenous Rapier has been reworked. It is no longer part of like the same trees anymore. Is now 1400, 20 physical power, 15 attack speed, 5 physical pen. Is now a flat pen item built from saber plus longbow. We stand flat pen. Robust R ballast. Sure, English is hard. Attack speed increased from 15 to 20%. Critical strike chance decreased from 20 to 15%. Swift passive removed. Rune bow. Cost decreased from 1000 to, uh, to 800. Attack speed decreased from 30 to 25. The issue was that they changed this because you were getting too much value, but then they decreased the cost and then decreased the attack speed to be roughly around the same value. Okay. All right. Physical power on Chalice decreased from 15 to 10, but added 10 ability haste. We like ability haste. Critical front reworked to potent font. 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 That's, yep, that's the word. Killing an enemy minion grants 5 bonus mana up to a maximum of 400. At maximum stacks, gain 2.5% of your maximum mana as additional physical power. So this is now an assassin item, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because it builds into Mind Razor. Absolution rework. I think this item is fucking cracked. 3,200 gold. 40 physical power, 25% attack speed, 20 magical armor, 30% tenacity, bravery passive, gain 25% damage mitigation, and 40% movement speed for 3 seconds when affected by a hard crowd control effect, 60 second cooldown, determination, gain 1% attack speed for every 3% missing health for a maximum of 20% attack speed, built from heroic guard plus rune bow. This item is insane. The passives on it are cracked. I'm 
probably going to end up be, be, being building this on Chimera, I would believe. Ashbringer rework. 3,400 cost. 45 physical power, 20, atta 20 attack speed, 15 ability haste. Passive accelerate. Basic attacks against enemy heroes decrease your current basic ability cooldown by 0 0.15 seconds plus 0 0.15 seconds per stack of clockwork. And grant a stack of clockwork for 3 seconds, stacking up to 4 times. Chrono Strike passives. Basic attacks deal 15 plus 5 per stack of clockwork. Bonus physical damage on hit. Built from Temporal Ripper, Saber, Composite Bow. I... This becomes... I don't know how I feel about this item. To be honest. Maybe it's good for on hit ADCs. I don't... I never really liked Ashbringer to begin with. We'll see. Augmentation, this is one I'm excited for. Cost decreased from 3,300 3, to 3,200. Physical power increased from 20 to 40. Attack speed removed, added 20 ability haste. Recipe changed from Saber, Composite Bow, Branded Emerald to Great Sword, Spell Slasher, Violet Brooch. True Strikes passive reworked. True Strikes, after using an ability, your next basic attack within 6 seconds deals 60% total physical power as bonus true damage. Yeah, that's gonna be strong. This is the new Pain Weaver, basically. Uh, Crunch, very scary. Feng Mao, maybe scary. It doesn't have pen on it though. It'll be interesting. I think this item will be very, very good. I think this is super scary on Crunch. Which they even mentioned. Say hello, Crunch. Bone Saw. Not a part of Claymore anymore. I really like the Bone Saw changes. Cost increased from 2,800 to 3,000. This is the only thing I don't like. Health increased from 400 to 600. Nice. Added 6% lifesteal. Fucking massive. Flurry passive. Attack speed decreased from 8% per stack to 6% per stack. This mitigates the lifesteal and health. Build path changed from Claymore. Branded Emerald to Branded Emerald. Plus Crimson Edge. Plus Banded Emerald. So. It's not the worst build path. But it's not great. The final result is going to be really, really good. Breach! Reworked! I have great complaints about this. Holy shit. Breach is losing its anti-shield identity and becoming a dedicated anti-armor item. This item is built to counter high physical va armor values specifically rather than catching bruises with their high health pools. Uh, yeah, with their high health pools. We will be balancing current shielding effects around the idea of anti-shielding not existing, so we may see heroes like Muriel getting spawned there sitting in 0.5. Anti-shield items may return in the future, but for now it's a bit too niche and end up baiting players into a purchase that ends up with little impact per game, except the niche is right now. You need to know when to build it. Why is... Why are we... It's a MOBA. The entire game is hard to learn. I don't know... Who are you punishing? People who were getting punished because they didn't know the game already? I don't know. I feel like Muriel's the best character in the game right now and we took away Breach. Okay. Cost... 2,900, 35 physical power, 15 attack speed, 8% flat pen, or 8% flat pen, that makes sense, 8 physical flat pen, splinter, basic attacks deal 35% of the target's bonus physical armor as bonus physical damage on hit, uh, Sylvan Steel, successful basic attacks against enemy heroes, grant 2 physical penetration for 2 seconds, stacking up to 5 times, so that is 18 physical pen, plus puncture, Gain 25% physical penetration. Built from Rapid Rapier as well as Tomahawk. This item is fucking insane. The amount of pen you get from this item alone, plus you get bonus damage. Ha. Oh. Oh. Ha. <laughs> this item is fucking scary. This. It's physical damage. This is. Grox, right? This item's scary. Uh, Demolisher. Cost decrease of 3,300 to 2,900. Physical power decrease from 50 to 45. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck, uh, fuck shield, man. This is so stupid that we did this. <laughs> Physical power decrease from 50 to 45. Critical strike chance increase from 20 to 25%. Remove desolate passive. First strike passive reworked. Decisive strike. Your next critical strike deals 30% additional physical damage for... Gain 25% physical pen. So it seems physical pen is being dropped to 25 instead of 35%, which is fine. I think 35% was high for percent pen. 
from a singular item. Uh, Demolisher's cool. I think this is a good spot for this item. Demon Edge is being reworked. Uh, initially was not a fan of this item being reworked because I think it was very good if you got ahead and you could play around it really well. Though, I will say the changes they made to it, I'm a big fan of. Cost increased from 2,900 to 3,300. Steep, but is what it is. Physical power increased from 40 to 50. Added 5% Omnivamp, but removed 5% Omnivamp from the passive. This just means you always have the 5% Omnivamp, which is huge. Fucking massive. Demonic, additional physical power decreased from 10% to 8%. Desolate passive removed. Build path changed as well as Tomahawk Short Sword plus Short Sword to Bloodlust and Great Sword. I think this is better now. I I, I kind of like the spot it's in. I think it's better than where it was. And again, the the always having 5% Omnivamp is pretty nice. Dream Binder. It, the slow's been decreased from 1.5 to 1 seconds. Thank you, Shinbi. Dust Devil. Cost decreased from 3,300 to 3,200. Attack speed increased from 20 to 25. Critical strike chance increased from 20 to 25%. Movement speed removed. Good. Menace. Successful basic attacks against the enemy hero. Grant 2% attack speed for 5 seconds, stacking up to 8 times. At maximum stats, gain 25 physical power and 15% movement speed. Critical strike chance. Or critical strikes grant 2 times the stacks. 15% movement speed is a lot of movement speed. Damn, this item might be pretty good. Imperator. Cost decreased from 3,600 gold to 3,400. Physical power increased from 55 to 60. Critical strike chance increased from 20 to 25%. Perfection passive removed. Build path changed from Greatsword, Saber, Crossbow to Claymore, Greatsword. So, Imperator is a bit a lot easier to build into now, which is kind of nice. It's, 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 I feel like less awkward now, though the Crossbow was the one item in it that wasn't super awkward to build into. However, it does have more crit chance, more physical power. The Perfection Passive is not the bonus crit damage. It is the bonus damage per, what is it, 3 or 4% crit. You're going to end up with less overall, but pretty close. Infernum Rework. I'm very interested in this item. Reclassified as an Assassin item. I don't know what it was classified as before. 3,100 cost. 45 physical power. 200 mana. 20 ability haste. Cinder. Abilities and basic attacks apply stacks of kindling to the enemy targets for 5 seconds. At 4 stacks, the kindling ignites, dealing 120% of total physical power, physical damage over 2 seconds. That's a good passive. 20 ability haste. Can't complain about that. Pretty good. Interesting. Uh, I thought Old Inferno was more fun, but this is probably better. King's Bane rework. Cost 3,300 gold, 55 physical power, 20%. Or 20 attack speed, 5% Omnivamp, Omnivamp's OP. Chaos, basic attacks deal 15 plus 15% bonus physical damage, additional magical damage on hit. Order, successful basic attacks restore 15 plus 15% bonus physical power, health on hit. Builds from Composite Bow, Bloodlust, Saber. Does magical damage, heals you. Uh, not bad. Pretty good for... On hit. Legacy. Cost increased from 3,000 to 3,200. Physical power decreased from 45 to 35. Added 30 tenacity. It still has the magical power. Uh, magical armor, I believe. Should. Pass a rework to dropping below 30% maximum health guns, clen cleanses you and grants you CC mini for 5 seconds. So basically, they took away the 60% tenacity from the passive and just gave 30% permanent tenacity, which I think is better and makes me want to build this a lot more. This is, a, this is a long one. Lightning Hawk. Cost increased from 3,000 to 3,200. Physical power increased from three uh, from 35 to 50. That's a lot. Attack speed decreased from 25 to 20. Critical strike increased from 20 to 25. Movement speed removed. Thank you. Build path changed from Iron Bow, War Bow, Robust, Arbalist to Iron Wood, War Bow, plus Claymore. And Chilling Zap has a rework to Chilling Zap. Every four successful basic attack deals 100% total physical power, bonus physical damage, and slows targets by 30% for 0.75. A big slow. No longer does magical damage. Keep that in mind when you're looking to build this item in the future. 
Megacosm. Disintegrate passive burn magnitude decreased from 5% to 4%. Disintegrate passive additional application mechanic removed. They gutted this item. New passive. Automized. Damaging an enemy hero affected by disintegrate with an ability deals an additional 5% of the maximum health as magical damage. Never mind, it's fine. Mind Razor. Cost decreased from 3,200 to 3,000. I think I don't think I've ever built this item. Arcane Strength passive removed. Added potent font passive from Soul Chalice. Recipe changed from Barbaric Cleaver plus Temporal Ripper plus Spirit Beads to Barbaric Cleaver plus Soul Chalice. It's just the mana stacking item now, basically, is all it is. So build it if you want. Oath Keeper. Build path change from Chromatic Wand plus Spell Slasher plus Violet Brooch to Scepter plus Spell Slasher plus Violet Brooch. Pain Weaver. Physical penetration decreased from ten to, or from twenty from twelve to ten. Spell slasher removed from build path. New passive splice. Casting ability will grant you four physical penetration and four percent movement speed for four seconds, stacking up to four times. Huh. That's a lot of pen. Also a lot of movement speed. The name fits less. Painweaver fit its old ability so well. Raymond of Renewal. Rip this item. Base health regeneration decreased from 150 to 125%. Regenerator passive healing from damage taken decreased from 15 to 12%. Regenerator duration increased from five per from five seconds to six seconds. Uh I don't know that I want to build this item anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I give a shit. We'll see. Resolution reworked. 3,000 gold cost, 45 physical power, 20 attack speed, 8 physical pen, flat pen pog, 20 or 200 mana. Dark steel, basic attack steel, plus 6% maximum mana, bonus physical damage on hit over 5 seconds. Additional applications, refresh the duration. Uh, it's interesting, it's physical attacks that scale off your mana. Basic attacks restore 3% missing mana on hit. Uh, built from Rapid Rapier, Spear Beats, Honed Chris. Uh, that's good. I just like, Pen's such a fucking good item, man. It's a good, it's a really good item, I think. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Sky Splitter. Gone are the days of Sky Splitter. Cost decreased from 3,200 to 2,800. Physical power increased from 25 to 30. Attack speed increased from 25% to 30%. Critical strike chance removed. Lifesteal removed. Rend. Passive damage decreased from 5% of the target's current health to 3% of the target's current health. Rend. Passive healing removed. Recipe changed from Ravenous Rapier plus Composite Bow plus comp, uh, Crossbow to Ironwood Warbow Composite Bow. Oh. Every fourth successful basic attack against... The same target within 6 seconds deals 5% of their maximum health as bonus physical damage. So ultimately, it does less percent health damage, but if you stick to a target, it ends up outweighing the change. Sure. I don't know how I feel about this item at all. Like, sometimes I think it'll feel still, still be necessary against like comps like Rampage Richter, maybe. But, we'll see. Stormbreaker. Cost decreased from 3,000 to 2,800. Physical power increased from 25 to 30. Critical strike chance removed. Movement speed removed. Build path changed from Ironwood Warbow plus Robust Arballast to Ironwood Warbow plus Runebow. Chilling Zap has a rework to Chain Zap. Or Chain Zap has a reworked. To Chain Zap, every four successful basic attack releases a bolt of lightning, which leaps between seven targets, dealing 60 plus 50 bonus percent physical power, magical damage, and applying on hit effects to each. Uh, still good item? Lost movement speed, that hurts it. Tainted rounds! Cost decrease from 3,250 to 3,000. Physical power increased from 25 to 30. Attacks will be decreased from 35 to 30 percent. Critical strike chance increased from 20 to 25 percent. Wicked strikes passive adjusted. Wicked strikes basic attack steal plus 12 percent total physical power plus 30 percent critical strike chance magical damage on hit increasing by up to 100 percent based on the target's missing health. Ah, uh, I really, I really like this. I really, really, really like this. The critical strike chance increase plus the physical power increase 
for the dropped attack speed, I really like this. I think this is a really good change. I'm honestly you're probably going to be building this in jungle a bit more. We'll see how the crit paths in jungle go. Terminus. Cost increased from 3,200 to 3,300. Critical strike chance increased from 20 to 25%. A non-shield total physical power scaling increase from 80% to 100%. Build path change from Crimson Edge plus Crimson Edge plus Crossbow to Claymore plus Crimson Edge. New passive. Endless. Takedowns grant a non-shield instantly. So... Is this build path worse? I think that build path might be worse. The build path is definitely worse. Perforator, we were reworked, right? 3,300 cost, 55 physical power, 25 ability haste, calamity. Ability still 0 to 40% based on a z 0 to 1,600 maximum health difference. Bonus physical damage against enemy here is greater maximum health than you. It lost its pen. Uh, I don't think I will ever build this item. You have no reason to. This item is awful. Time warp. Chime passive now triggers every 8 seconds instead of 5 seconds. Chime passive cooldown reduction increased from 0 0.5 seconds to 1 second. Bug fixed. Fixed an issue with the description of the chime passive did not state that it only reduces basic ability cooldowns. This item fucking sucks. Unbroken will! Undying passive now grants plus 30% increased total physical armor and magical armor for 2 seconds when immobilized instead of 20% damage mitigation. Kind of makes me sad because that makes steel better. Vanquisher, this item is interesting. Cost increase from 3,100 to 3,200. Physical power increase from 45 to 50. Physical penetration increase from 10 to 12. That's a lot. Added 25% critical chance strike. Mana removed. Arcane pa passive removed. Annihilate passive. Execute increase from 5% to 7%. Recipe change from Home Crisp plus Spirit Beads plus Home Crisp to Claymore plus Home Crisp. Uh, I like this. I like this item. I think it'll be good a lot of flat pen viper physical power decrease from 50 to 40 critical strike chance increase from 20 to 25 ability haste decreased from 20 to 10 sag added plus 20 percent attack speed cool. uh and then we get to bug fixes fix the bug where warden's faith retribution passive was occurring on menu basic attacks fix the bug where unbroken wills undying passive was not occurring on suppressions i didn't realize this and that's really upsetting Fix the bug where Murdoch's passive was granting armor penetration on all of his physical damage rather than just his enhanced basic attack. Fix the bug where Platinum Bot from the Epic Game Store was displayed incorrectly. That's all this week. Let us know what you think of these changes over on Twitter, the official subreddit, or our Discord server. That is the patch notes. Uh, fuck. <laughs> it, it was a lot. The People are going to be messing with shit. People have already been theory crafting. I saw some Twitter posts that was like all the ADC build paths. It's it's gonna get crazy. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm recording this at like seven in the morning. I'm not a seven in the morning kind of guy. But thank y'all for watching. Bears out. Peace. Where is it? I know it's down here somewhere. No. Come on. Ah, there it is. I found it. It's another video. Watch it. I searched for so long.